Hi guys, this is Patrick for Screen Studio, and tonight I wanted to show you one incredible tool that I've discovered uh, many years ago on Ubuntu, and it's called Eater Ape. I don't know if I'm pronouncing correctly the name, but Eater Ape. Anyway, that tool, uh, you can find it in the software center just by looking for the name, and uh, you just in installed it as usual. Uh, the great thing with this tool, it uh, will let you uh, monitor your network in a graphical way, which is kind of cool if you don't know much about uh, monitoring a network, but it can be really handy if you're trying to figure out who's using the bandwidth. So uh, to launch it, that's, that's the thing you need to know. Uh, when you launch it, look for Eater Ape and use the one Eater Ape as root because if you're using the Eater Ape regular access, you won't be able to monitor your network. So uh, you need root access for that. So you just click on this, and then you'll see you have to enter your uh, password. That's uh, uh, your password for your account if you have a pseudo access, which you should by default, and then click Enter and Eater Ape will start. So just make sure that you're actually capturing the proper interface. In my case, I'm over Wi-Fi, so I need to switch to WLAN 0, and then you will see stuff happening. Uh, let's open a browser here, and as you can see, stuff is happening in my network. My computer is actually uh, talking to some websites on the net by itself. And if I go to, let's say, Google, w.google.com, you should see some, see? There we go, oh, there was much traffic in there. So you see that the higher the traffic, the bigger the circles will show up. So it's kind of neat to figure out what is currently happening in your network. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of traffic here. This is probably my laptop I'm currently recording with. And you, you see that there are a lot of connections over the web. And uh, at the left, you can see uh, the protocol used for uh, the different communication. And then you have options, you can change the aspect. But basically, just like that, you have a quick and easy way to see what computer in your network is actually using the bandwidth of your internet access. And then you can figure out uh, whatever is happening. If you're feeling like your network is slowing down, then you just have a look to your local addresses. As you can see here, I have one, two, three, four, five. This is my router. Uh, four devices currently connected. Are there any other ones? No, I don't think so. But you can see that uh, there's a lot of traffic happening even though nothing is currently happening. I'm the only one really actively uh, uh, being active on the network. So let's try a YouTube video just for fun. Uh, YouTube video. Uh, let's go here. Just by going to YouTube, you see that there's a lot of things happening. A lot of things? Yeah, there's an S there. And uh, it gives you an idea of how much bandwidth. So we can have stats. Uh, let's go see, uh, click on protocol. And you can see here which protocol is actually using the most, the bandwidth, and a few stats like that. So you don't have, to, you don't need to have uh, like advanced uh, knowledge about networking or how to monitor the network. It's kind of a, an easy tool to install and uh, to use. So it just gives you uh, an idea of what is currently happening in your network. Uh, often I've tried to find such a tool for Windows, never could find one. Maybe there's one now, but I've been using that software, Eater Ape, for a long, long time when I want to monitor my 
uh, my home network and um, it's kind of easy to figure out who who is currently using the most bandwidth so hope you enjoyed that little demonstration of either hape and uh, either hape no that's not hape either 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 ape there you go i speak french i'm sorry and uh, hope you enjoyed and as usual see you another time bye